Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students uh, and welcome to Techno Genius. In this course of power transmission today the topic which we will study is RLC parameters of power transmission. As you all know that uh, if we represent a, a transmission line in a simple circuit then we use R, L, C and G parameters. R for resistance, L for inductance, C for con capacitance and G for uh, conductance. So if we see the transmission line then the R normally the loss of the transmission line or the conductor and it is represented and uh, this loss is the combination of I square R and uh, in the impedance we have inductance and reactance uh, imp impedance we have inductance and capacitance impedance uh, uh, the inductance is normally the mutual induction of two conductors or the self induction of a single conductor because there are many small conductors connect uh, con uh, uh, there are many small conductors in the transmission line so there will be a, some self induction and some mutual induction so it is represented by omega L. both r and l are normally in series while the capacit uh, capacitance ai uh, is due to the uh, uh, charge stored between the two conductors and charge due to the insulator so it is normally in the shunt form similarly the conductance between the two conductors or uh, um, uh, or conductance between the conductor and the tower is represented by g and it is uh, its loss is represented by i v square g so these are the four parameters in order to calculate the resistance of the uh, transmission line normal uh, uh, formula of the transmission line is r is equal to rho l over a but this formula is feasible in the case of dc because in dc there uh, there is a, the current uh, is uniformly distributed in all of the, uh, the transmission line but in case of ac the current is not uniformly distributed because uh, when the voltage is increased there is a phenomena which is called skin effect and due to the skin effect the current tends to move on the surface of the conductor and the in internal yeah, center of the conductor is hollow uh, it, uh, does not allow the current to flow so due to this phenomena the area which we calculate in DC is not the same as the area of the current which we calculate in AC. So there, there, there are different kind of formulas available to measure the area of the AC circuit and uh, the resistance of the AC is different uh, as compared to the resistance of the DC. However, if we, if we find uh, this is the simpler formula of uh, resistance and uh, it is normally used in low frequency and low uh, uh, low voltage rating if this formula is valid similarly for the inductance when the two when the current pass in the two conductors we can say that phase one and phase two then uh, due to uh, due to the mutual induction some uh, uh, some of the current from the a conductor transmitted in B and some of the current B uh, in the B conductor transmitted into A. So this uh, this phenomena is known as mutual induction and, and this induction is rep uh, is normally represented by X and the losses due to inductance is normally I into X, yeah, I square into X. So if we can uh, if we calculate uh, the mathematical formula of the inductance it can be calculated by this uh, mathematical formula if you see that vd is the voltage drop 2l into r plus j 0.2794 log dm over ds into i up uh, if you uh, uh, two uh, l is represent l is the length of the transmission line however the r is the resistance of the transmission line dm is the geometrical mean uh, distance and ds is the geometrical uh, mean radius of uh, one conductor so, so the distance between one conductor and the other conductor is represented by dm and the uh, single the radius of a single conductor is represented by ds where r is the radius and i is the current passing through in that conductor 
so the complete formula for l will be at 2 into 10 is power minus 7 natural log dm over ds h over m so uh, the expression related to this uh, uh, inductor formula is mentioned in the book if you want to study that uh, expression then you can you have to consult the book of uh, Mm, uh, power transmission. Similarly, if we see the inductance in uh, in in other formula is 0 0.7411 log to the base 10 dm over ds, and it is in milli henry per mile. The above formula is in henry per meter. So the the uh, the difference in calculation. So uh, if in order to measure xl, then we have to multiply l with 2 pi f. And so the value of the XL would be this one. But in the case of three phase transmission line, we have three conductors and the distance between the three conductors is not same. And so in order to measure the inductance of the three conductor, then we have to take the cube root of uh, the three the distance of the three conductor. The, that is DAB into DBC into DCA cube root is the dn then we can measure the uh, distance between the conductor so the formula is changed from from dm to d equivalent and d equivalent is the cube root of the, all the distances so the formula becomes this one but the problem is that the distance between a b and c conductor is not continuous sometimes the distance between one conductor is far uh, one conductor is far away from the remaining two conductor so in order to balance the distance uh, we no normally use transposition so transposition transposition is the process by which after certain distance we swap the conductor's position in order to maintain the inductor like we shift a conductor position we change the a conductor position into b and we change the b conductor position into c and the from we change the c conductor position into a so when we swap these position then the uh, and then the uh, inductance throughout the circuit remains the same so in the in, in, in another problem in the uh, in 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 order to reduce the inductance we use bundle of conductors so uh, when we uh, as you know that uh, when we increase the voltage of the conductor then there is a huge chance to uh, of uh, of uh, the uh, of the wire to produce corona effect corona is a phenomena in, uh, in which when high voltage is transmitted in a transmission line they uh, a small area around the conductor is energized and this energized uh, mechanism is known as corona so uh, when, when uh, in order to reduce this corona effect we normally use multiple conductors con con connected uh, con multiple conductors and uh, we transmit the voltage or the current through uh, uh, those conductors and that phenomena is known as bundle of conductor so uh, in the bundle of conductor phenomena we use uh, normally two conductors three conductors or four conductors and the distance between each conductor uh, uh, with the other conductor is constant so uh, we have to maintain this uh, distance in the first lecture of the power transmission line which we which i uploaded uh, is uh, in that uh, lecture you have seen that they we use a spacer to maintain the distance so there are special type of spacers which are used to maintain the distance between each conductor so uh, in the advantage of the bundle conductor bundle of conductor is that uh, the skin effect of the conductor is reduced corona effect of the conductor is reduced similarly the uh, the current of the con uh, current in each conductor is sim equally divided so in order to measure the uh, uh, inductance in bundle of conductor then we use uh, uh, R and D. So if uh, uh, D is the diameter and R is the radius of the conductor. So uh, sorry, R is the day radius of the conductor and D is the distance between the two conductors. So overall DS, which we uh, use in the formula, is now converted. If we use two conductor, that D, the formula would be R into D under root. Similarly, if we use three conductor, then it is R into D square or cube root. 
and if we use four conductor then r into under root two d cube or quad root um similarly so the there are many uh, standards used for uh, uh, aluminium conductors if you see that uh, they uh, these uh, they, these are the standards name used by the electrical engineers and uh, these are the values of uh, the strand uh, 18 is the diameter of the conductor and slash 1 is the number of uh, conductor which are used so there are different kind of uh, conductor available in them and this is an example of uh, calculate the resistance and the inductance L and inductive reactance uh, XL per phase of three phase line having one conductor per phase and um, uh, operating at 60 Hertz each conductor is AC, uh, AC SR uh, aluminium conductor steel in for uh, drag whose GMR or DS for, from the table is given as DS is equal to 1.369 centimeter. The phases are separated from each other as shown in the figure. If you see that the, the distance between one phase A phase and B phase is 6, B to C is 6 and C to A is 11.2. So if we want to calculate the equivalent distance then we multiply all the distances and take the cube root. This is the, and uh, for the DS we can find it from the table uh, of the conductor uh, from the table we can get this one. So L is uh, L the formula of L is 2 into 10 is per 7 natural of B equivalent of DS and XL is 2 pi F into L. So uh, this is the formula of L. and while the R we can find it from the table if you see that this is the table and uh, the conductor which with the which is used is this one and the r is represented over here and ds is represented over here okay so uh, now a, another thing in uh, inductance there is that we use normally a double bus bar system we normally is transmit electricity in two different uh, if you see the uh, if you see the poles they have two cross arms at one side we uh, transmit phase one phase two and phase three and on the other side we then transmit phase one phase two phase three so uh, there are two uh, supplies which are transmitted from generation to the distribution and so these supplies can be then also be called as double circuits or three phase uh, double bus bar system. So if there is no interference, we always try that uh, the distance between uh, first circuit and the second circuit should be large enough that there, there must be no interference between these two conductors. If there is any any interference, then uh, then we have to calculate that interference and the inductance value is disturbed. Otherwise we maintain the distance and we try to reduce the in, minimize or zero interference between these two conductors so if you see that we have a conductor b conductor and c conductor and uh, from the second end of the tower we have another circuit a bar b bar and c bar a and a bar are on the same phase similarly b and b bar are on the same phase and c and c bar are on the same phase now the third parameter in the transmission line. Third parameter is capacitance and capacitive reactance. The capacitance is normally due to the uh, uh, the conductors when the when in uh, if we see the basic definition of the capacitance is that two conductors separated by dielectric is known as capacitance. So normally in the, in power transmission when we have two conductors separated by dielectric and in this case the dielectric is air then there, there must be some capacitance. So in order to calculate the uh, capacitance, the mathematical formula of the capacitance is, is derived from Q is equal to CV and, uh, and then the overall formula is uh, 2 pi epsilon over 2 natural log D over R and epsilon is the permittivity of the conductor and D is the uh, distance between two conductors and R is the radius of them. So uh, uh, the capacitance is uh, the basic formula for the capacitance is this one 
C A B C uh, is this one point two point zero two four one into two divided by two log D over R. Uh, however, the distance, uh, the capacitance between the uh, a, a single phase and the neutral is this one point zero three eight eight divided by the natural log D over R. So, uh, if we uh, check the combination of the two conductors, then we have uh, uh, V A N. Uh, the uh, capacitance of the A with respect to neutral is two times C A B. Uh, similarly, C B N is two times C A B. So, the capacitance uh, formula for calculating neutral capacitance is this one. So, uh, over here, uh, when we have the capacitance value of the C, then we can calculate uh, Xc. And uh, similarly, we can uh, calculate line to neutral uh, capacitance. So, this is the basic formula. And now, uh, in 3A phase overhead transmission line, in the circuit of the three phase transfer transmission is this one we have a conductor b conductor and in between a and b we have virtual neutral so the capacitance from a to neutral is cn from neutral to b is cn so if we combine cn these two cn we can get cab okay then uh, so we, we would need cn formula of cn similarly if we use uh, uh, if we have three phases then we have to neutralize or take the mean of uh, the distance between say all the phases then we use d a b d b c and d c a q root same uh, the uh, this procedure is same as we uh, did in the inductor uh, inductor mechanism so for a bundle of conductor the capacitance formula is changed ds is equal to r if the conductor is 1 if the conductors are 2 then ds is r d under root if we use 3 conductor then it is r d square cube root and if we use 4 conductor r 2 d cube uh, and quad root so we uh, so overall uh, mechanism of uh, calculating xl and xc or the formula for xl which we calculated previously is 0 0.1213 and the dm or ds ohm per mile and xc is 0 0.06836 log dm over r uh, mega ohm into mile so this is the basic formula this is uh, this is uh, an example a three phase 60 hertz transposed line has a conductor that are made up to 4 uh, by 0 7 strand copper at pole uh, top the distance between the conductor center to the cent uh, to center are given in 6.8 5.5 and 4 so the distance is 6.8 5.5 feet and 4 feet the diameter of the conductor is 0 0.1739 determine the inductive rectangle so we need to calculate the inductive distance so initially we will calculate d equivalent then for the base, base of the formula of xl we will uh, put the values and then we calculate x so this is a basic mechanism so uh, another example consider the pole top configuration in example x uh, 4.5 if the line length is 100 miles determine the shore shunt capacitance reactor and shunt capacity reactance by using the following equation so uh, for, uh, we can calculate xc the, by this formula and and we will find out overall xc of the system thank you jazakallah uh, god bless you